Okay, what we're going to look at in this video is how you can upload local files to Virtuoso uh, or rather the applications you're testing. So even though Virtuoso is hosted in the cloud and doesn't uh, by default have access to local files, you can run our bridge application to create a secure TLS tunnel. And if you run it on your laptop, then you can allow Virtuoso to access local files. So before we go ahead and create a goal, which is going to be to start testing against an application, we're going to first want to run the bridge client. Now to do that, I need to have terminal open and on the basis that I've already downloaded the bridge client and set up a token in Virtuoso, we do have a, a video covering running Virtuoso's bridge client. I can put in my command and then run the bridge, which creates a bridge connection. And in this case, the bridge is running on my laptop. And so I am going to be able to use this to be able to test against local uh, using local files. So with the bridge running, I can now create my first goal and I'm going to do this. I've got a site which has an upload file capability and I'm going to call this my test local file upload uh, testing plan. And before I create this, I want to now go into the environment, go to the bridge setting and pick the bridge. Now what that's doing is connecting Virtuoso to the bridge that I have running on my uh, laptop. And when I create and add my first journey, that will now run and take us to the site which has the upload uh, file capability. Now again, what I want to be able to do is now pick a file that is on my laptop. So in my documents, I'm going to pick this video cover.jpg. I want to be able to upload that into the upload here. Now to do that, uh, I'm working off of MacBook, so I'm going to need to run a short Python script in a new uh, shell tab. So if I open that, I simply have to come in and run a short line of Python, assuming that I've got Python on my MacBook. And what that does, if I run this, it just creates the HTTP server, which enables me to uh, pick up files in the browser. And you can see it's given me the uh, local IP and the port to use here. And it's on HTTP. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use those details to upload the file. So I'm going to say upload and then HTTP 0.0.0.0 and port 8000. The file is in documents and it is called video cover.jpg. So that's the file I want to use. And I'm going to upload that to the choose file in this case. So when I do this, it's going to enable me to use the bridge to pick up the file. And you can see now I've uploaded the video cover to the choose file in this case. So I've now uploaded a local file into, in this case, a, um, an application that's hosted on the web going through Virtuoso. And then I can say click on submit, for example. And in doing that, I can upload the file. Equally, I could say upload, and again, I could use my file address here, which is coming from the local files. And I could say upload that into the or drop to this zone. So or drop to this zone, there we go. And again, that's going to upload the file. And we can just see there that actually I missed out a word there. So I could fix this step, click on the or drop to this zone, which fixes it. And then it uploads the video cover again. And then again, we could click on submit. So this is just a demonstration of how you, by using the bridge client, uh, you can upload local files into cloud applications.